Welcome to Oogie Boogie Bash. I am here at Oogie Boogie Bash at Disney California Adventure, the after hours Halloween event, and I'm so excited. This is my second year coming. We are dressed as Disney Channel Games players. Hopefully millennials will get the reference. Already had some people recognize us, which has been nice, and I'm really excited for the photo ops, the parade, treat trails, Villains Grove, all the fun stuff. So let's go get started with the night. So we got to meet Kingdom Hearts Mickey, which is awesome. Last year we got to meet Donald, so that was really fun. And then we passed by Sid from Toy Story Street Trail. Oh. But the line was really, really long, so we are skipping that for now, but we did get to see him at least. And then we just did a walk on on Incredicoaster, and there is a little magic key holder special photo spot and um, gift that they're giving out at the event, so I think we're gonna go check that out. The line was long when we passed. That's just kind of the way it is with these because obviously everyone wants to do as much as they can, so the lines are long, but I think we're gonna go check that out or hit a tree trail. So we are over in Avengers Campus and we just got to see Agatha Harkness on her tree trail. And then we just took a ride on Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark. Well, don't worry about them. Listen up. You guys can be a big help while I Which is what Mission Breakout turns into after 3 p.m. every day. So during Oogie Boogie, the line is super short, which is awesome because normally it's very long in the evening and afternoon here. And now we're gonna go head over to the other half of the park we haven't really explored yet and do some other tree trails and photo ops. So it's been about two hours since I last checked in and in that time we actually got quite a lot done. We did the Ernesto de la Cruz tree trail which we did not get to do last year. My goodness you're all coming towards me. How scary. I look out tonight and I see so many beautifully dressed individuals. You, you have painted your face to look like a skeleton. We did the Corella de Vil tree trail. Uh, yellow no, or no, green? No, no, two green, no two yellow. green, oh, okay. did the Madame Mim treat trail. Congratulations on going around that horrible wholesome sunshine for an eternity. It's disgusting, really. Oh, hello there. Are you eating your snacks? And we also got to do a photo op with the Sanderson sisters, Daisy, Minnie, and Clarabelle as Winifred, Sarah, and Mary. It was amazing. I didn't get to do that last year either because the line was so long every time we went to go check it last year. So I was really, really excited we got to do that. And we also got to see the parade, which was awesome because also last year, the parade uh, that we went to was canceled. Um, so that was awesome that we finally got to see that. <laughs>
San Francisco. I trust you are enjoying the culture of our city. I wish I could say that I'm here to celebrate in the festivities like the rest of you. But I'm here for a different reason tonight. I am looking for information on the location of a team of heroes called Big Hero Six. Where's Rapunzel? After those treat trails, we headed into Villains Grove at Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. This is a very cool area that has transformed into a mystical land of lights, sights, and sounds. There is a lot of mist, a lot of light effects, and very cool different areas based on different villains. So I would highly recommend that you check that out. Now let's take a look at the event exclusive merchandise. Starting off with this mug, which was $19.99, and then we've got this t-shirt, which Bill ended up purchasing. That is a collab with Loungefly. It has Oogie Boogie, Hades, Maleficent, and the Evil Queen on it. And on one sleeve, it has the Oogie Boogie logo. And on the other sleeve, it has DCA's logo. Next up, we've got a drink cup, which says Spellbound on one side. And then it has the cool dice on top. Of course, we've got ears, which were $44.99. And then there are three event pins. The first one was a Magic Key Holder exclusive. And then we've got a limited edition of Oogie Boogie and a limited release of Oogie Boogie. Now, these next two items were sold out in the store, but we did find them on a kiosk by Wine Country. Trattoria. They were only available in an extra small in each and they had very limited quantities. So I'm not sure what the restocking potential is going to be like for the rest of the parties throughout the remainder of the month. But that is pretty much it for the merchandise and that's actually going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us for Oogie Boogie Bash, seeing everything we did. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to help you out. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love if you would do so as well down there and I'll see you in my next video again really soon. Bye.